Okay, so at least as far as this video goes, uh, Epic Games want to be vague about next week, so this week we have this game, uh, War Game Red Dragon. I said previous week that it looks to me a little bit like uh, War Thunder, now I'm starting to think it will be a strategy game. Let's check it out and see what it is. <laughs> Yep, that's the only way to check it out. And subscribe maybe, I don't know. Help, please, come on. Of course, yes, I allow everything you want. Take all of my stuff, yes, uh, just to play this random game. Okay, now that we're full screen. Solo, launch, campaign. Let's do campaign. Campaign. Are we South Korea, China, United Kingdom, USSR? Blue fruit. I don't know who the fuck this is. Second Korean War? Oh, really? Uh, I believe this is the correct answer. Alright then. It looks nice. I haven't heard about this game previously at all 45 to 1975 Japan Soviet relationships are poisoned by the Soviet occupation of the Kuril Islands hence the two countries have not been able to ratify a formal peace treaty since the end of World War II 1979 right. to 1980 the Soviet Union increases troops and naval assets in the Kuril area Japan retaliates by hardening its stance towards the USSR and increasing its military spending. 1982. Japan allows the deployment of US advanced F-16 bombers on its soil. So I guess the only the campaign has Rangers this story part. SS-20 missiles from Europe. 1983. The Japanese Prime Minister declares his intent to turn Japan into an unsinkable aircraft carrier. The reply from the USSR is immediate. In an era of modern technology, unsinkable modern. aircraft carriers do not exist. November 1984. The joint US-Japanese naval exercise Fleet X-85 in the Sea of Japan gets as close as 500 nautical miles from Vladivostok. The Soviet fleet Vladivostok. is on high alert. December 4th, Which is kind of there's Japan, ends, the sea, and Vladivostok. Vladivostok is the most eastern city, I think, in uh, in Russia. A green light is given for a preemptive strike on Japan and its U.S. naval bases. December 6th, or at least the biggest the eastern city. Climb Mount Norodnaya is transmitted to Soviet forces. What? Several what? airborne and naval infantry divisions are ready to strike Japan. At dawn, okay. the first wave of Soviet paratroopers lands on Japan, while a mechanized thrust strikes from the Kuril Islands. Alright, hopefully this is... It sounds legit, hopefully it is like preparing us for the mission. This should be grayer, less blue, but alright. So it's kind of a strategy game, as far as I know. Uh, a map thingy. What do you want me to do? End turn? Okay, we have those things that move around. No, they're Japan. The blue ones are Japan, of course. Uh, get over here, maybe? Alright, battle. Launch battle. Okay. And now we can control. I didn't see the button. Uh. What? Ships without textures or they don't know how to... Uh, okay, all right. What about the... what? Okay, I had two tanks there. Why only one tank has been attacked? Oh, 
either I'm not getting something or or this is like a cheap knockoff of the Total War series. It's cool that it has like the whole historian type of shenanigans going on, but it's not for me. I like my strategies with proper battling and less strategy. Maybe that's why I haven't ever gotten into Civilization and Total War and those types of games. I'm more of a heroes and heroes and heroes of might and magic and StarCraft, those types of games. Even though StarCraft I don't like to play like people play competitive like that. Pew 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 moving over there, over here. Oh shit. Um I like to play it like uh you know laid back, easy peasy. Uh die a lot if I play against people. <laughs> So, it's a game, I think you guys should try it if you like games in this type, style, whatever. Uh, I for sure will not be playing this, because it's not my style. See you guys next week. Uh, maybe they'll have something that I'll be more interested in playing. Sorry for the short video. Bye-bye. That's what happens when you don't have sponsors so you can just bail off a game and don't feel sorry about nothing. <laughs>